Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's, looking at a Nissan Qashqai here. Okay, so 1.5 DCI, the battery's flat because they've been trying to start it and it won't start. So it's had this pipe replaced here and it was being driven for a prolonged period of time with this broken piece on here. So now a mechanic has been out to this vehicle, uh, they fitted that new pipe and trying to clean the DPF. Uh, so what he's done is he started it up, tried to set off a forced regeneration. The car has then cut out. Uh, they can't get the car to keep running because the DPF is blocked so much. Now I'll just show you. So it struggles to start. And you can hear the engine sort of shaking here. It's vibrating and it struggles and dies out. Sort of similar to uh, fuel starvation, but it is definitely a blocked DPF. So I've got the launch Eurotab 3 scan tool. Now unfortunately I can't find enough information on here for live data. It doesn't show me the actual pressure inside the DPF. All I can see is that they've reset the DPF to tell her that it's had a new one less than five miles ago. Uh, five kilometers ago, I mean, sorry. Uh, we can't seem to get any more information than, than that. Now if we come to fault codes, the last mechanic has cleared all of the fault codes, but there was codes there for a block DPF as well as a boost leak. So we've got the jack in there, I'm going to get a stand in here. So just up here, it's taking off this uh, pressure pipe from the DPF there. So it's basically just up the front end of the car here, above the subframe right up there. So just move back a little bit there so I can give you a better idea of where I'm looking up there. Okay, so you can see there from putting that gauge on there that the gauge went all the way around to the maximum, which is 30 psi. Uh, well, it went past there, of course. There's probably could be could be 50 psi of pressure in that DPF. But it's went around as far as this can go and then it's blown off the tube that I had it connected with so There is a lot a lot of pressure in there. I mean, I don't really know if this is gonna work But the customer wants me to try so we've got the launch DPF cleaner here We're gonna get that injected into the DPF and see what we can do Okay, we've got this ready now one thing to mention is what the customer said to me the car was running It was just in nip mode and um, until this guy came, replaced the pipe, uh, then he done a forced regen and it didn't work, so he done another forced regen, then the vehicle cut out. So the problem here is, if he's done two forced regens, we, we might have a melted DPF here. So let's find out. Okay, so I'm gonna do an 80% mix for this one. So we're almost full of the fluid. I'm just gonna put a little bit of water in there. Okay, so I've got the tube here connected up. That tube connects back to my gun. So that connects up here and goes back to my compressor there. Let's squeeze the trigger and hopefully get that in. Oh, my air pipe's come off. Let's get that connected back on. Okay, we've got a fluid going in. Just surprised it hasn't blown off, to be honest. I'm surprised it hasn't blown off from there. But uh, we got it sealed on nice and tight. Hopefully this will work. I like to see happy customers, and we'll see what we can do for them. The problem is, is he's getting asked more than I'm charging him here to try and clean it. He's getting asked more than that just to have it recovered away to a garage. So if I can at least get it running, he's going to be happy. Okay, so that's the fluid all out. I'm gonna let that sit there for five minutes before I disconnect it because if I disconnect it now, I know with the pressure inside it's gonna, all the fluid's gonna burst back out and make a mess everywhere. So we'll just let that settle down for a few minutes. Okay, so it's been in a few minutes now. We'll uh, get the vehicle started up and see what happens. Okay, here we are. Let's give it a go. Flat battery again. We'll have to get out the big boy. Looks like the NOCO isn't up to the job today. 
Well, it done its part for a few minutes there, but after four or five starts, it's given up. Well, although, funnily enough, it still says it's on 100%, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Let's get this uh, big jump starter connected up. And we turn that on. Okay, back inside, let's try that again. got acceleration we didn't have that earlier yes so it wouldn't accelerate before we couldn't get it above sort of 1500 rpm yes looks like we're idling so I've got a little pan there just to catch any of the, well try and catch most of the mess. Got a little couple of speckles there to come out. It's really hard to catch out all of it. So I'm just going to give it a few revs up and down. We'll see a lot of smoke. clearing away a little bit now. So it's revving up nice and freely now. That feels absolutely perfect. We haven't got any engine lights on and amazingly enough like it's just it's just unbelievable that I mean you can have that much of a blockage and we have no DTC. Uh, 59,000 miles on this one it's a 2010. Okay, so I'm going to hold the revs here for, say, 10 or 15 minutes and just make sure all of the smoke or vapour has gone away, then we can take it on a test drive down the road. Right, take this little baby on a couple of mile test drive. We'll give it a few full revs, make sure that it's boosting fully. And it's able to uh, accelerate without going in lip mode. Okay, back from a little test drive there, all looks well and good. So I've got the jack back up now again, we're going to go back under and have a look at the pressure, see what we're looking at now because unfortunately we cannot get any live data for the live pressure so we'll use the gauge and go back under. Okay, there it is, connected up. Six millibars, five, five or six millibars. That's almost as good as brand new. That is a, it's a very good result here considering how blocked that DPF was. Um, I mean to get it down there That's just absolutely an amazing result. I mean I was I was just hoping at least to be able to get it running, but it's a uh, it's a job done really It's as that's as uh, as good as a repair As you're gonna get you're not gonna get any really better than that by fitting a new DPF even So we're back in the car here See there we're just giving it a little bit of a rev up and down uh, We're gonna go back just confirmed that we haven't got any fault codes. No DTCs. Can't ask for better than that. Perfect result there. Okay, so we're just about all done there, so we'll see you on the next job.